Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to emulate an Xbox controller with your generic game controllers. This process will help you get the most out of your gaming experience. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the tools we'll be using. XOutput is a powerful tool that converts direct input into X input, making any game controllers function like Xbox controllers created by Sudoresa. It's free and open source. HID Hide, on the other hand, is a gaming input peripherals device firewall for Windows, a driver that hides your physical controllers from games and applications, created by Nefarious. It's also free and open source. The combination of these tools ensures that your setup is clean and efficient. You can download both XOutput and HID Hide from their GitHub repositories and make sure to get the latest versions. The links are in the description. Now, let's take a look at the generic game controllers I'll be using for this tutorial. As you can see, they're basic models that are not natively supported by most games, which is why we need X Output and HID Hide. Let's start with X Output. After downloading and installing it, open the program. Under the Direct Input tab, you will see a list of your connected gaming devices, keyboard, mouse, and your controllers, and under the Game Controllers tab, you will see the emulated controllers. Click on Add Controller to add a new emulated controller. You will see a new controller on the list. You can remove or edit any controller you have added. Now, click on Edit to assign inputs from your physical controllers to the virtual one. In the window, on the left under Mapping, you will see a list of Xbox controllers buttons and axes. Click on Configure for each buttons, a new window will appear and now press the corresponding button on your physical controller, then click Save. Do the same for all the buttons and axes. Click on Disable if you want to remove a button that has already been assigned. On the right, under X Input, you can test the buttons to see if it is working. At the bottom, under Other Settings, you can rename your new controller. When you are done, close the window. Now when you press a button on your physical controller, the new controller will be highlighted in green. Click on Save Configuration to save the new controller. To make Windows detect your new controller, you need to click on Start. Then click on Stop when you want to stop the emulation. You can close X output. As you can see, your new controller is now shown on the list of game controllers as an Xbox controller. Next, we'll configure HID Hide. Open the program, and under the Devices tab, you will see a list of connected devices. Check any devices that you want to hide. In this case, we want to hide our physical controllers, so that games and applications only detect the new Xbox controllers. Another key step is to add the X output executable to the Exceptions list. Under the Applications tab, there is a list of applications the HID Hide does not hide the hidden devices to. You need to add X output on this list, because it will not detect the physical controllers and the emulation will not work. Click the plus button and navigate to the folder where you installed X output and select the exe file. Do this for any application that needs to detect the hidden controllers. Now, let's check the result. You can see that only the Xbox controllers are showing up and they are fully functional. Now you can play any games with your controllers. And that's it. You've successfully set up X Output and HID Hide to emulate Xbox controllers with your generic game controllers. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming!